I'm Ashlyn. And I'm Marla. And we want you to mansplain baseball elsewhere. Yay. <laughs> so um, it's just today, guys. Yes. And uh, so Emily's stepping away. So bear with us kind of as we get our new routine down. Um, if there's some awkward pauses, it's because she's usually the one that keeps us in line. So I was say, she's she's our ringleader. So we're getting used to having to lead ourselves. Going to hurt our own cats here. So it'll be interesting. But we're toasting to her. And, um, you know, she's amazing and wonderful. And she's got some big things going on. So I'm excited for her. And I'm still going to bug her anytime that Blue Jays play a tiger. So there you go. Oh, right. <laughs> and you guys are playing her today. So. Right now. Yeah. That, that actually, last I looked, they were beating Astros too. So mm, love that. Yeah. Let's see. Is that probably still are? We'll get to that later. But, anyways. Yes. Yeah, so we're toasting to Emily. Thank her for everything she's done for us already. Like I said, we're having, we're going to have to get used to like being in charge of ourselves. So. <laughs> good luck guys yeah. you, you'll see we'll see what you get <laughs> so she is our first kick-ass lady of the day but also another one um the WNBA season started last night and no my links did not win but that's okay it's a long season um well kind of anyway but so I just picked a random WNBA player um who's well known, but if you're not following the league, you might not have heard the name. I mean, she's not like Sylvia Fowles or, you know, Sue Bird. So Tiana Hawkins was born March 2nd, 1991 in Washington, D.C. And she's um, still in D.C. Actually, she plays for the Mystics. So she's got her hometown team. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's probably awesome. And nice, you know, family gets to come pretty easily, I would assume. So. She played college basketball at the University of Maryland, which I imagine is probably also like right there, and attended Riverdale Baptist School in Upper Marlboro, Maryland. She was number one in the NCAA with her field goal percentage of 62.3. Um, she's got all ACC teams. She's got ACC Player of the Week, US BWA National Player of the Week. I mean, her accolades kind of go on and on. Which I feel like we say a lot, but... <laughs> but it's I mean, true. Every time. Yeah. I mean, women are out here fucking doing the most. Um, she was drafted by the Seattle Storm with the sixth overall pick in 2013. And since then, she's played more than 230 games for the WNBA. She's helped the Mystics go to their championship in 2019. Um, and she actually played for the Dream in 2021. And she was also playing in the Athletes Unlimited League for their basketball season that just ended in March, I think. Um, it's like a five-week season. She has also played in Korea, China, Hungary. She's been all over the place. So, yeah, she, she's awesome. So keep kicking ass, Tiana. Also, if you want to know, I looked at it yesterday. Marla did a... Um what WNBA team to root for based on your Zodiac sign. Three. Yeah. <laughs> and it's pretty helpful. It's pretty helpful. If you don't know who to, if you don't know who to root for, this is yeah. a good starting point. If you're like, you know what? I, I don't really know. I don't have any favorite players yet. And if you like that sort of thing, the videos are on TikTok and Instagram. And I put them on Twitter in the, uh, the women's sports community. So yes. there, if you want to find them. No real basis other than I was looking at like star players for the teams to see what their signs were to see if it was and they're not everyone is compatible um by that formula, but uh whatever. I liked it. So there you go. So that league's starting. It's gonna be a fun season. Um all-star games in Chicago because they won the championship last season. So oh, is that how that's pretty cool. I, th I think that's how it works. Like the format or whatever. That's cool. I like that actually a lot. Unless it, I mean, I don't. I'm pretty sure it was not just coincidence. Yeah. But um, so that league's starting, and MLB obviously has been in full swing. Ha, swing. Um, <laughs> so 
so just some brief things going around. The All Star schedule came out like the the day by day, what the three or four day yeah. break, and they've got some really cool events going on because it's in LA, so of course they got to do beachy stuff. Mm-hmm. So they're doing yoga, they're doing a beach cleanup, sand sculptures. Um, the draft obviously is going to be going on. They got the softball game and everything, so I think it'll be cool. Um, they seem like it's going to be taken down, taken over downtown LA. Um, so traffic's going to be a disaster. Oh my god, I can't imagine. <laughs> I they're just. I want. Have... I want to be rich enough to afford a helicopter. Like just, dr- just drop me in. Yeah, that's I'm pretty much in. the fastest way to get anywhere around there. <sighs> nightmare. Yeah, should be fun now or whatever, but nightmare. Yeah, it'll it'll be interesting. And Snick gets to coach the national team, so he sure does. That'll be interesting to see how that gets handled. But anyway, um, also going on in the West Coast, the Mariners are calling up right-hander George Kirby, who apparently is like a huge prospect. Um, I'm not big into prospects following all of them because my brain can only take so much. I was say, we only but, have so much room up there. Yeah, Passon said that he's one of the best pitching prospects in baseball. He's 24. He's a former first-rounder who dominated at AA this season. Um, he's got a big ceiling, I guess. And the Mariners are slumping, so new new blood, you know, inject something in the clubhouse, maybe, and get them going. Um, somebody who needs to stop going, though, in my opinion, is Manny Machado, because he's leading the league in hit, runs, average, OBP, and war as of this morning. Yeah. So, so all the things, all the yeah, categories. Literally pretty much anything you can do on a baseball field. Without pitching, he's doing it. So, what the fuck? And um, somebody take his Wheaties away, please, because I'm sick yeah. of it. Like, let's spread this around a little bit. I don't know. The West right now, in general, is kind of crazy to me. Because I mean, even the Rockies are like 15 and 10 or something. Or that was like a couple days ago. But like, right. they're all a lot closer. Because it was a oh who I think it was Jolly put out a tweet that was like the Diamondbacks are closer to the Dodgers than in the sand, like games apart right. than anybody is to the Mets in the East, which That's whatever, fuck the Mets. Right. But the fact that the West is that close, given that you've got the Diamondbacks and the Rockies who are typically, right. you know, on down there. Off the cliff. This point. It's I mean, obviously it's early or whatever, but that's still pretty exciting for all those teams out there and all the fans of all those teams out there. Yeah. And that's weird because usually it's the East that's like that and the West mm-hmm. getting sorted. Um the central in both leagues is just a fucking cluster. So um, but one player that stood out is actually today, Mickey hit a six hundredth double, and he only the third player after Hank Aaron and Albert Pujols to have three thousand hits. 500 home runs and 600 uh, doubles. It's like so, kind of good company. I mean, that's a fairly good club to be in, I guess. So and it's Hank Aaron weekend that he did it on. So love that. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. But that's um, other than if you guys want to hear the standings. Yeah. yeah. I, I yeah. looked. I really don't want to because the Blue Jays are in third and the Braves, I think, are also in third. The Yankees, uh, Twins, Angels are all leading in the American League, which the Angels are surprising me at this point. I, You yes. know, they were kind of sloping downward, and then they were like, boo! So that's interesting. Um, the Mets, Milwaukee, and the Dodgers are leading in the National League. The Mets by a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, and actually, the Dodgers are only leading the Padres by half a game. So yeah, it's all real close out there. Also, yeah. it's like the first time in forever, like I, I'm pretty sure it's ever that both New York teams and both LA teams are yeah. leading their division or whatever in both <laughs> leagues. Is that work? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, the, I said the that two right. New York teams and the two LA teams are all leading their divisions, uh, which I'm honestly surprised that that's the first time that's ever happened because yeah. money always is, but mm. but whatever. Not complaining. That could stop now. That'd be fine. Um, and that's that's all I have as far as around the league goes. So 
for the Blue Jays, they, like I said, they're in third, um, which is not fun because they got, they lost their first series of the season. What was it? Monday through Wednesday when they played the Yankees, Mm -hmm. they two losses and then they pulled out the win for the last game, which I had said it was going to be a win-win loss. So LOL to me, it was actually a flip of that. Um, (laughs) (laughs) I'm trying to talk shit on Twitter and y'all are making me look like an idiot. Right? Like, come on now. Help me. Help me help you boost you up. But anyway, so the Jays are 17-11. Manoa, I I think he pitched the first, no, the second game in that series, I think. And he was so good and our offense just couldn't do anything to help him out. Like, he deserves better. He starts tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. um, Because Chicken Strip starts the second game of the doubleheader tonight. So Manoa starts tomorrow for Mother's Day. And I guess he's, like, flying his mom out to Cleveland and everything, and his gram, I think. So. Oh, it's- that's so cute. I can't <laughs> wait for all the Mother's Day stuff. It's so adorable every year. I'm such a sucker. His mom's always fun. Like, yeah, she's- she is. And she's, so- like, all into it. Like, <laughs> it's so yeah, cute. she's cute to watch. So he's been really good. Kevin Gosman, though, has been a whole different level. Like, okay. no. Like, not personally, but I can't stand him. <laughs> like you you sucked out you stunk out loud on the Braves well I mean he had good moments whatever but, right but like overall you stunk bro and now you left and you're a fucking Cy Young award candidate yeah. come on now I mean if this keeps up throughout the season he's gonna win which yeah it's he's crazy 38 innings pitched so far, 46 strikeouts. His ERA is 2.13, and he just walked his first guy today in, like, yeah, come on. In sixth inning. It's May 7th. I'm like, what? Yeah. I don't know. It's wild. Um, I wonder where he was. Did he beat the whatever it was, Corbin Burns? Did, I don't know what it was. It was 50-something. I don't know where, though. But either way, 50 strikeouts before a walk is a whole fucking lot. So, whatever. Yeah, what forty six. Exactly. So, so close. So close. But so he's been throwing the shit out of the ball. Um, Romano has been in like half of the games. Let me see if I can find it. Fourteen of the games Romano has pitched in so far. So I don't know how his arm is still attached to his body. Um, but we're gonna go with it for now, I guess, until we can get a different closer. Um, Barrios is. So so, um, Kikuchi's um, chicken strips doing all right. Um, so hopefully that keeps up this evening. Um, and Vladdy's hitting shit out of the ball still. Um, he kind of like stalled as far as home runs go, but he's getting he's making contact. So and these balls are dead as fuck. So yeah, so boring. <laughs> Almost nobody is making fucking home runs, which is infuriating. And no, I will not just learn to adjust. I don't want to. I yeah, want to. It's boring. See. Like, which, okay. I will say, though, I know that we promote small ball a lot, but I don't want the small ball to be happening because the ball is dead. Right. You know? like, like, let's, we can do both. Like, we can have a ball that can fly and we can hit home runs with. But also, like, our guys can just be able to hit singles. Yeah. If you hit it in the dirt, it'll do some good small ball. But when they hit it fucking 400 feet, I I want it to be a home run, you know? (laughs) That's what, to be honest, well, I guess we'll get to it later. But Ronnie, when he hit that home run yesterday, it was one of those, like, you knew it was out. But I had that split second of, like, is it, though? Yeah. Is it going to die at the track? We'll see. And especially, like, weather. I mean, it's still spring, so... Mm -hmm. Windy, like both all the Ohio teams today, like it was so windy there, and it's like rainy and cold, and you never know what you're gonna get. So, but I mean, our guys are, you know, kind of pulling it out of their ass right now. They're <laughs> out of nowhere. They're finding a way. Espinal's been coming in clutch. Um, Bo's finally started to heat up. He had a six great game hit streak that ended earlier today, but that's all right. Um, Chapman's been up and coming um tapia's really just been kind of a surprise I love like, him. yeah uh, yeah i love his hair but i love his hair i loved him i liked him when he was in colorado and when he got traded to the blue jays i was like 
love that for him because he's like fun and exciting and like yeah. I want people to watch him and pay attention to him and like no offense yeah. Colorado but hello <laughs> so I'm I'm excited for him to be out there yeah the Blue Jays are tons and tons of fun even on the days when they lose um that clubhouse has just got to be electric all the time um was there anything else oh Katob got claimed off waivers by the Mets and he was the one that was like, he was walking up to um, never going to give you up. So oh, that's pretty funny. It is funny. A little ironic, but. Uh, so, yeah, well, it's yeah. fine though. Um, yeah. The Astros are, I don't want to praise too hard because it's only five games. Mm-hmm. They have won five games in a row. They just swept the Mariners. They've won two against the Tigers. So, so it's the Mariners and the Tigers. You know what I mean? Like, it's still. But they're starting to figure, like, because they had kind of hit a little bit of a slump. The five-game win streak is the longest win streak they've had of the season. Um, They are, let me see. Yeah, they're still down right now, 2-1 to Detroit. It is the seventh inning. So, we'll see if that win streak continues or not. Mm -hmm. But... The things are starting to fall back into place. They have gone from being in like fourth place. The last time we recorded, I'm pretty sure, if not fourth, pretty dang close to it, to they are in second now. And they're only a game and a half behind the Angels. So they're closing that gap Mm -hmm. to first. So love that. Um, The pitching has been really good. Luis Garcia started yesterday and he had another phenomenal start. It was his third start of at least six innings in a row. Um, that's it's the third time he's gone at least six innings in his last three starts. Whatever <laughs> you understand what I'm trying to say, it's all there. I've been up since really early. <laughs> um, and he long. had a career high strikeout like nine yesterday, I believe. He went seven innings yesterday. He allowed two hits, two walks, and two runs, but only one of those runs was earned. So <laughs> it's starting to fall into place. Framber Valdez was pitching today. He looked pretty good as well. They're, I mean, they're losing, but he still looked pretty good. Yeah. Um, I mean, they're only it's only 2-1, you said. so Exactly. Like, it's not, like, insane. Um, and I think, let's see here, if he's still, whatever. My phone's going to be slow, so I'm not worried about it. But anyway, pitching is starting to come together. The hitting <laughs> is starting to come together. Now, are they the Astros that, like, kind of have been what we've seen the last few years so far no Mm -hmm. but they are hitting it is coming together but they have a big gaping gigantic hole at the plate at the catching position Mm -hmm. and we talk shit about people who don't hit pretty pretty quickly I mean it doesn't take long I've been talking shit about Danzig Swanson like this whole season um Years. But hey. both catchers, Maldonado and Castro, um, are batting below 100. Yikes. Um, Maldonado, he did hit a two-run homer last night, so whatever. But my memory's not that quick. Like, he, his shittiness is not gone that quick because yeah. of a two-run homer. Appreciate it, but we got to do better. He hit a two-run homer last night, and he's still only hitting .0. Eight six, which is really not good. Wow. And Jason Castro is even worse because he's hitting point zero seven seven, which is, I mean, there's no way to explain that other than that's just like fucking abysmal. Yeah. It's awful. <laughs> I don't like. I don't even know. That's awful. I don't know what you're supposed to do. Like just write it out. A fucking guess. I don't know. But oh my god, that's so bad. But. Outside of that, they're doing well. Um, Jeremy Pena is still, like, kicking ass. He hit another homer. He is – oh, I'm going to speak wrong. Tied for homers? Or is this – no. Mm, hold on. I'm going to I'm gonna look at this right now because I want to know because I want to say it right. And I should have put it in my notes, but I didn't because, of course, I didn't. You um, just have, as an outsider to the Astros – uh, he's definitely the one I hear the most about. Right. Like, he, he's fun. What, he's a lot of fun. He makes good play. I mean, he's fitting in the shoes that he, he has to feel just fine. Um, Let's see. Okay. 
Mm, I just saw it. Leads major league rookies. That's what it is. It's the rookies. Oh. In home runs, he's got six. He's um, tied for first in RBI among all American League shortstops. He ranks first in homers for American League shortstops, first in defensive war. So, like, he's do like he's hitting the ball, obviously. He's also playing good defense in the field. He looks good. He's fun to watch. He, like, very openly and obviously is, like, having a fucking blast out there. Yeah. So, that's fun. Um, we'll see if it continues. I mean, obviously, we're only, like, two months or really only a month into the season. Um, so we'll see. But so far, he's been really fun. And I hope it kind of gets contagious. Because like I said, the, the hitting is getting better. It's still not great. Bregman's doing all right. Jose's doing all right. Guriel's doing all right. Chaz McCormick hit a home run last night. Appreciate that. But like, <laughs> you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, Just a little more so consistent. We'll see. Hopefully, they get a little more – I don't know how to say this without it sounding mean, but, like, they just haven't been as exciting or, like, fun to watch yeah. as some of the past years. Maybe it's just still getting used to it, the short spring training, the – I don't fucking know, something. They went on a long-ass road trip to open the season, which I know was a month ago, but the road trip was, like, over two weeks long. So. Yeah. They've only been home for a couple of weeks. Like, they've only played a couple weeks worth of home games. So, I don't know. Hopefully, it all figures out and settles better. Because I'm still watching the games, but it's not, like, quite as exciting. I don't know. They have a, a day off soon see. that they could, like, restart. So, I know the Blue Jays have their first day off in three weeks on Monday. So, it's see, been a long haul. They've actually had, like, they had two in that road trip. They had an off day built in, and then they had an off day on the way back. They, I want to say they have an off day this next week at some point, maybe like Monday or Tuesday. Because yeah. this Detroit series is four games. It's got another – the game three is today, and then four is tomorrow. So it may be Monday, and then I'm pretty sure they start traveling again. So maybe the off day. A little bit of a yeah. reset, a little bit of relax, go somewhere. I don't even know where we're going. Uh, The Twins. We're going to see the Twins. So – Maybe we can do something. Oh, and then Carlos Correa broke his finger or whatever. Oh, yeah. I saw and that. And right before the Astros come to town. So that stinks. Because the reunion is always, like, fun. Even if it's not, you know, him coming to Houston. It's them going there. It's still fun. It's still right. I guess I could use the word fun when I say when the Braves <laughs> went to the Dodgers. Whatever. We'll try. Um, it, as it feels. Yeah. Speaking of the Braves, so we're still pretty stinky. Um, we're still pretty stinky. Um, we are currently 12 and 16, and we are seven games out from first place from the Mets. Um, we did just split a series with them, 2-2. That game on, I don't know what day anything was, day before yesterday, when we scored six runs in an inning, mm -hmm. that's the most that's runs. Like, that's our biggest out offensive, like, breakout since the season started. Yeah. Need a so 20. I, yeah, I thought that was going to mean, like, oh, okay, now they're going to hit. Like, now we're going to do it. The bats are early. And then we lost to the Brewers yesterday. Yeah. Which which we hit uh, six to three. Um, the pitching was Jesse opened, started. However you want to look at it, he was in there an inning, so opened in my opinion. Um, yeah. That game he gave up two in the first inning, and the, the pitching just wasn't great yesterday. But also they, they didn't hit the ball real well either. Ronald Acuna did hit his first homer back since injury yesterday. It went, like I said earlier, 450 feet. He fell down. I did have a mild panic attack when I yeah. saw him falling. <sighs> um, not gonna, not gonna lie to y'all. I had a, I had a small panic attack, but he was fine. Um, like any, see him step on a base now, and you're like, 
Yeah, like just be fucking careful. Like when that Mets game, when they he got caught, that, that's worth talking about. When he got caught in the rundown in the Mets game, and he ended up getting around the second baseman and tagging before, which it was the Mets being fucking stupid with the ball anyway. But he was able to make it. But him going back and forth and like shifting his weight trying yeah. to get around, I was like, stop it, stop, just get out. It doesn't even matter. Like watching your kid jump off a friggin' top of a swing set or something, you're like, eh, don't do this. Yeah, like it doesn't it doesn't matter, which is great. Another run scored, all that. He knew what he was doing, but I was panicking. But ho- hopefully that goes away soon, and I don't, or all of us don't have to like hold our breath every time he does something. Like he's not just gonna. Be fine. Um, I will say they, you know, they sat him. I don't even remember what game it was. Now I had to have been last week. I think it was the Rangers game, like the first one, maybe, mm-hmm. and. I was, it was, because it was like he played one game. And then he took a day or two off. And then he took a day off, um, like the very next day. And I was like, what the hell? But then somebody somewhere sent me a tweet that was like, where Snicker had said, basically, like, he's not going to play on trial days. He's not going to play in both games of a doubleheader. He's not going to, there was something else. Um, Oh, like when he's not listed for, like, if he's not in the lineup, then he's not available for the game. Yeah. So, like, you can't come in and pinch hit or anything. And they're going to do that until – oh, and something about not going to play, like, if it's a night game and then a day game the next day, he wouldn't play the day game. Or, right. or he wouldn't play one of the games, whatever. However you want to twist it, I guess. Until it had been exactly one day – or one day, Jesus. One year since his injury, so July, whenever that was. Yeah. But then – so that explained why he was off that day. But then he started on a travel day. So it kind of, they kind of like immediately contradicted their stuff. So I don't fucking know what we're doing. I'm I don't just fully new either. But yeah. So I'm just kind of expecting like, I have that mentality like, get up and look and see if he's in the lineup because he might be or he might not be. I've wanted, if I had the like strategy or schedule or whatever the fuck down pat, that'd be great. But I don't because I, I don't think they do. So I'm not going to worry about it. Um, But speaking of him, again, we're just going to keep talking about Ronnie, I guess. He had a really good quote, whatever, last night. I guess it was after, like, the post-game press conference. Um, They asked, you know, how did it feel to hit that home run, 450 feet, yada, yada, whatever. Mm -hmm. And he was like, hitting a homer is cool and all. And... Everybody enjoys it, but when your team loses, it's not a big deal, and it doesn't really matter because your team lost. Right. Or something to that effect. I don't remember what the exact quote was, and God knows I didn't write it down, but it was something to that effect. And that's a really good mindset to have. Remember all you bozos. Or, yeah, all you bozos out here talking about how he only cared about himself and this, that, and the other, and he was a showboat, and all he wants to do is pump his own self up. Well, obviously not. Obviously, he cares about the team winning more than he cares about hitting a stupid-ass home run. So, loved that. Loved hearing that for him. Lo- loved that. Um, that's kind of the only good thing that happened last night, I'm be honest. Uh, uh, Spencer Strider did strike out a career-high eight, I believe. Um We'll see how Spencer Strider works out. I think he's really cool. I really like that we have somebody on our team that can throw a hundred. That's super awesome. Love yeah. that. And then but, he makes like he walks. He's just lot. like casually just like plopping it in. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, like it makes no sense. But I would just <laughs> like you to walk a little less, people. Like just just Yeah. So you take down like five and get control. Yeah, like just please. Um, but it's fine. And then also yesterday. Tyler Matzik, okay, he didn't look great in one of the other games from this last week. I don't remember which one. He didn't look great. But then yesterday, he looked – it was awful. And it never got better, and he couldn't get out of it. And runs kept scoring. And it was almost to the point people were starting to tweet, like, is he hurt? Like, is something wrong? Which maybe, I don't fucking know. Hope not. But maybe he just needs a reset, sit down, you know, Go figure your shit out. Whatever it was that they did last year before he started being so good. Give him a little that again. slow active 10 day IL. <laughs> yeah, something. So um, we'll see what happens there. But yesterday was very not good. I think last year, wasn't he at AAA for a little while? Yeah. I don't remember when. But I don't he- remember when either. But I think that was 
what happened? I think he went to AAA for a little so bit. He came back up and turned into the fucking Hulk. So yeah, um, but whatever. The rest of the night shift is doing good. AJ uh, Mentor looks godlike, like phenomenal. Kenley Jansen looks great. Will Smith looks great. Like it's all it's all good. We're still, still gonna be fine. Bullpen's fine. Will Smith is great. I know it's weird. Still weird. Um, Tyler Matic right. just has to figure his shit out, but that's fine. He will. We believe in him. He's got all the trust in the world from us now. So whatever, he'll figure it out. Um, we have the Brewers again today and tomorrow, and then we have the Red Sox for two, and then we have the Padres for three, and then we go to the Brewers. So these next like ten days are gonna maybe suck, especially if fucking uh. Machado is hitting like he is when yeah. he comes to Atlanta. Still, uh, I don't. I don't want that. Oh, and then sort of, kind of a little bit of an update on Mike Soroka. He's like throwing the ball off the mound a little bit, and they're still targeting like an All Star break or I assume after All Star break comeback situation. So maybe we'll see Mike here in the next few months. I'll probably cry when he steps on the mound, to be honest. I feel like I feel like he's been hurt for like five years. Well, every season it's something. I it's... know. God love him. And I mean he genuinely hasn't been on the baseball field in what two? Solid? Right? Twenty Mar April of twenty twenty? No, it couldn't have been April because no. we weren't playing ball then. I don't remember when it was. I want to say it was. But it was wasn't long. June? I don't know. Time's fake. I don't know, but it wasn't long into the season. It's been yeah. pretty much fucking two years. By the time he comes back, it'll probably have been two years. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Ugh. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, let's trying to think of a segue into softball i don't have one sorry here's softball um <laughs> so oklahoma i don't remember i don't think this had happened the last time we recorded um but they got dethroned from first place virginia tech is first in the rankings uh they have a record of 40 and 6 and oklahoma is 46 and wait for it one still one loss one that's crazy I, it's, literally otherworldly i don't understand it's redonk um oklahoma won the big 12 uh either earlier today or yesterday i don't remember but so they've clinched that shocking nobody um yeah. the arkansas razorbacks won the sec which actually did shock a few people mm -hmm. <laughs> um it was their first undisputed sec title in their program's history which is pretty cool um northwestern won the big 10 it was their eighth title and their first since 2008 um and world series uh, starts june 6th i believe so less than a month away and we're getting down it's it's coming up and i'm super excited and it's gonna be crazy um yeah i think they're um the see we here in birmingham we have the sec baseball tournament here and it's like at the end of the month at memorial day weekend softball i think is like the weekend before it typically their tournament like conference tournaments regionals super regionals yeah 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 it's all like one week ahead of baseball right because their season starts like one week ahead of baseball anyway whatever i'll have to say it's like convenient for watching so it is it is all oh. their um their sec tournament is in gainesville and I was like, you know, it's not Birmingham close, but also it's not far. Right. It'd be fun. Far. And my cousin will be there because he works for the Tennessee softball team. Ooh. So I was That'd like, but then you got to take like a whole bunch of days off, whatever. Do you need someone to help carry some duffel bags for you? I know, right? Like, can you, if I take off work, will you pay me to, like, I don't know, braid hair or something or whatever yeah, really. they need me to do? Like, Put the eye black stick on. <laughs> exactly. I'll do whatever. Um, but I'm really, softball's been really fun to watch. I've definitely watched more this year than years previous. 
and I get it. I get why people who don't like baseball do like softball. It's it's a different game. It's yeah, it's it's much more fast paced, paced than like. I was talking to emotions. a guy I work with. Fun. Oh. Yeah, I was talking to a guy I work with, and him and his wife, they um they're Alabama softball fans, and or they're Alabama everything fans, but softball fans obviously. And neither one of them like baseball like at all, which is a character flaw, but whatever. Yeah. But he was like, they're just competitors. I was like, well, all athletes are competitors. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> he was like, no, no, no. Just something about, and when I went and watched a game, like kind of thinking about what he said, I was like, you know, I get it because they all, yeah. like, it looks like every single pitch is the pitch. Like every yeah. single play is the play. Everybody's at like a eleven out of ten all the time, all the time. It's electric. And that team's like crazy and fierce. Ugh. That I have only lost one game in forty something games. They've lost one game. Like that's bonkers. That's not like that can't be mathematically possible. <laughs> and then also you have the sorcery that is softball pitching, which we've been over a lot of times on yep. this podcast but it's black magic or witchcraft or I don't fucking know devil something. I don't know. Maybe no, it's Jesus everything. who gave him the gift. I don't know, but the gift came from somewhere. Yeah. It's done. It's we will say that mathematically is harder to hit than a baseball. And they've proven that with numbers. So yep. don't ask me, ask the pros. Exactly. Crazy. Auburn's playing Tennessee in softball this weekend, actually. And I wanted to go up there so bad, but this stupid mother's day. And no, really like, worried. I'm we're I'm at the age where like Mother's Day is about my mom and David's mom, so I'm like having to do Mother's Day stuff for them. I'm like, y'all are really interfering with dang my Mother's Day, but it's fine. You, should, you know what? For I'm gonna take you guys to the softball game, <laughs> right? Like we're gonna go to a softball game. Actually, they would probably enjoy that, but I don't. There you yeah. go. Just <laughs> We would go to a game this weekend, but the friggin' Pirates are in Cincinnati getting broken legs and shit, so that's oh, great. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah. I mean, hopefully not, but it didn't look good. Um, but yeah, that's went a little long today, but you know, we're... Not too terrible. Like we said, we, we're kind of herding cats here, and yeah. the cats themselves, so. Uh, but you can still find Emily on Twitter, at Braves Emily. We are also Braves Ashland and Braves Marla. Our Patreon is uh, patreon.com slash BB podcast. And we do get, um, just lost that word in my head, um, posts up content. There we go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say products. So nope, that's not right. Uh, we do put content up pretty regularly this season. So that's worth, you know, five bucks a month, I think. Um, what else? Oh, we're on Instagram. Not that active, but we'll work on it. Um, but yeah. Oh, and Instagram the pod is hard. Is Mansley BB Pod on Twitter? So Instagram is hard, and there's only so much I can do in a day. So you yeah, it's also true. But in the meantime, till next episode, we're gonna still try to do a couple a week. Yeah. So because that that was working out really well. So we're going to try yes, to we'll still try and do a couple weeks. That worked out well. This next week, they teased me and said this week was the last week of softball, but they're a bunch of fucking liars because now you got to do the postseason tournament. Ugh. But this next week is the last week of softball. And then life slows down quite a bit for me. Yeah. So those couple of episodes a week won't be hard at all. Maybe we'll even get out of schedule eventually. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm not going to promise anything, but like it could happen. That'll be our uh, New Year's resolution. So there you go. <laughs> we'll work on it. Until but, next time, we will see you guys later. Bye, guys. Um.